Hey guys, so meet Stan. I know, he's cat number five in my household right now. Um, he is basically a long-term, oh my goodness, permanent foster situation. Um, if you guys can't tell, here, come back over here. Yes, maybe. In case you guys can't tell, um, he's got some issues. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he's gone now. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> so... In case you guys can't tell, he's got some issues. Um, this is a very broken little kitty. Um, and I have basically kind of given him my home to live in at this point because he's actually been at my rescue since June of 2020. And I have loved him every day since then. Here you go. Oh, oof. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get it. No, you're just gonna roll around and be cute. So Stan actually came to us from Baltimore Animal Control after they received a call about one of the worst hoarding cases that they have ever worked with. Um, and he is essentially the product of that in case you ever wanted to know what inbreeding in a very bad unmanaged hoarding situation results in, it is Stan. So I will insert pictures and footage throughout all of this video, but if you guys can't tell, he's got little hockey stick legs. So he has what is known as radial hypoplasia, and actually I talked to my vet, um, and it turns out his one leg has radial agenesis, which basically means the radius and ulna, and this, this is our radius and ulna in our bone, it's your forearm. In cats, it's essentially the section that's missing in his legs. So hyperplasia basically means they those bones are underdeveloped and agenesis means they never developed. So he basically is missing this entire section of his leg. So he is what is known as a squitten. It's the loving term for radial hypoplasia. It's basically a squirrel kitten because they always sit up like a little squirrel because their front legs are significantly shorter than their back legs and it takes pressure off of these makeshift joints that they have. Um, and it's the cutest thing ever. Oh, we flung that across the room. So I will put some footage in of him playing and just being the cutest thing ever. Um, so not only does he have radio hypoplasia, he also has a shortened back left foot as well. Um, so the ligaments and tendons in his back left foot are too tight for him to really like stretch his toes out. So he has a shortened back foot. He's got two kinks in his tail that clearly had been broken at some point. He also has what is known as feline herpes virus, um, which is essentially why his eyes are always runny. Um, it's kind of the equivalent of like the herpes virus in humans that only produces cold sores. Um, for cats, it basically means they always have runny eyes. Um, he has an ear tip because he did come through a trap and release program, so they never knew if he was actually going to get a home or not, so in case he were to be released, that's why he has his ear tipped. This cat is a mess, and I adore him to pieces. So he is the cutest thing ever. Okay, and we're back. We got a, we got a blue puffball this time. Those are his favorite toys because they are small enough for him. So not only is he severely broken and a crooked little kitten, um, He's two now, obviously. Like I said, he came to us when he was about 10 months old in 2020, so he is about two now, which means he basically fits right in with Cricket, Albus, and Sushi. Um, he is the happiest little guy ever, despite having all of these disabilities, I guess you could say. He has no idea that nothing is wrong with him, and he acts exactly like a healthy, normal little cat, um, but he is very stunted. So not only is he shortened, like all of his legs are very, very short, um, he is also only four and a half pounds, so he is basically a permanent kitten. This is as big as he's getting. I will put in pictures to show his size comparison to my other cats. Um, he is very, very small and just the cutest thing I've ever seen. I know a lot of people might disagree because he's got a permanent little grumpy face. Let's see your face. Look at that face. So that being said, he did go through Barks, which is Baltimore City's animal control system and rescue. Um, and they evaluated him. They ended up sending him to our orthopedic specialist, um, and she looked at our their x-rays, and he ended up coming to us because he was one of the very few cats that came out of that hoarding situation that was friendly. Um, so he has sat at our rescue for the past two years, and I have just fallen in love with him more and more every single day, um, but he has had virtually no interest in him 
just because he clearly has special needs. Nothing is significantly wrong. Day-to-day -day care is exactly the same as a normal cat, but I think people just see that he likely is going to have medical needs in the future and are scared off from that. So as somebody who works in the field and works directly with all of these specialists and vets, I was just like, well, I already love him a lot. Let's see how he does with my kids because he's basically lived in our clinic um, at work for the past two years and he is an angel. I truly think that he came to us to help us through a really rough kitten season last year. We had a really rough kitten season in 2021 and I think it was a direct result of um, the world shutting down in 2020 and we couldn't do a lot of spays and neuters like we normally do so we had an abundance of kittens um, and Stan always just sat with them like whenever we had a new cage of kittens he would just sit and he would just put his paw on the door of the cage and just sat with them and whenever we had like feral cats come in or very sick cats he always just sat with them but our number of those cases has significantly declined recently so he's basically just been living in the clinic and he's a happy-go-lucky dude, he's fine there, but I kind of wanted to give him friends to play with because our clinic is basically where we keep our senior cats, it's where we keep our medically needy cats. So he's been living with like decrepit seniors for a very long time and he's only two, so I wanted to see how he would do with actual playmates who would play really well with him and be gentle with him. Um, and my guys are perfect for this. Sushi loves him. So while I have not, nor will I probably ever actually permanently adopt him, as in sign ownership over to me, he is going to stay under the name of my work um, so that he can stay in the network of all of our specialists should he ever need anything. Um, that being said, he doesn't. As far as I know, all of his x-rays have looked pretty much okay, and it's basically just an observance issue at this point. We just basically need to observe him and just make sure his quality of life is fine. Um, but his prognosis is that of a normal, healthy cat. Like, he can live just as long as my other guys. Um, they discussed amputation of these legs because in some severe cases, they it's it's cripplingly painful to walk on makeshift joints like he has, but he has no pain. Um, he likely is going to have arthritis, probably already does have arthritis, so we have him on joint supplements. Um, and it's just a matter of just making sure his little legs don't get pressure sores from where he's walking on them. If you can't tell, he, he walks a little funky. Um, that's his favorite bed over there because it fits him. Let's go over there. He's hobbling in. Oh, well, there's Albus. There's a size comparison. He's very, very short compared to Albus. Um, but yeah, he's otherwise medically totally sound. And I just kind of wanted to give him a house to live in if he got along with all of my cats, which clearly they're all good. Albus is going to play with his burrito. Hi. Hi. And this is basically our relationship. Oh, can you even see him? He just kind of flops down and stays like this. But nothing really hurts him. These are okay. This foot's okay. His tail is fine. We're gonna leave? Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll pan back up. You guys can just see Albus playing with a burrito in the background. That's fine. That's not who we're talking about in this video, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, I have just turned into a cat household, but I also am head of the feline medical staff at my job. So I kind of have the knowledge and the resources to take care of a cat like this. And also I just love him to pieces. Like having to leave him at work and say goodbye to him every single night when I came home was just getting harder and harder and harder. Um, so I just kind of brought him home one night. Didn't really tell my husband. My husband, God love him, is so forgiving of me and has just kind of accepted that he's likely gonna stay here. It's fine. Um, so I just wanted to introduce you guys to him because I figured you guys would like seeing him. I might feature him a lot just because he is kind of a special case. Um, I'm sorry to anybody that it might like freak out seeing him because his legs are, they do make me cringe. Whenever I see him jump down from something or go running and I can hear him just like clobbering through the house, um, makes me cringe a little bit. Oh, there's a sushi in case you guys were wondering how big he is. He's a bowling ball. Hi bud, how's he going? Um, he is large <laughs> and charred, in case you guys were curious. He's fat. He's very fat. Someone is on a diet now. But he looks good. His eye looks pretty healthy. And he and Stan get along really well. So that's our life. Don't look at my mess. It's fine. 
So that is my update. Just wanted to introduce you guys to Stan because he's likely going to wander into videos from time to time. You guys saw sneak peeks of him in um, my Q&A videos that I did last week. So uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm a cat lady. I'm embracing my status. Okay, I think that's all that I wanted to tell you guys about him. His name is Stan. He came with the name Stan. Uh, he actually is named Stan42. His kennel card says Stan42 because he was the 42nd male cat that they took out of that room at the hoarding situation, if that gives you any inclination. I think um, I'll have to look at his paperwork again. I'm pretty sure the final count of the hoarding situation was a over 130 cats in a house. So in case you guys ever wondered what hoarding leads to, um, it's this. So there you go. But technically his name is Stan42. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, 42 is the answer to life. So if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. This is just my life now. I hope you guys enjoy cat footage because it's here. Also it's springtime, so there will be more goat footage coming, I promise. Let's end the video with some cute Stan, Stan stuff as he walks away so rude he's going to his little hidey hole behind our couch that's fine okay that's all hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in my next video